All right, Shelby, this is a 74-year-old male, status post cabbage times four, six hours ago. We have a cardiac index of 1.6 and a cardiac output of 3.3. His heart rate is 101, his, his blood pressure is 82 over 72 with a CVP of 30 and a respiratory rate of 16. His PA pressure is 52 over 44. You have a balloon pump in your right femoral, um, probably with a map of 50 right now. Uh, you have epi going at 0 0.02, you have vaso going at 0 0.03, and you have levo going at 0 0.02. Um, pads are on him, balloon pump is stable. Um, his pressure has been soft all night. What do you hear? Chest tube output is? Uh, we're at zero. Zero for the last hour. What are you suspecting? Tamponade. Tamponade, so what do you want to do? Hey Bo, can you come in here? Hi, how's it going, Shelby? Uh, not so hot this morning. Um, I just got in, just got a report. Um, I already heard a multiple parts on the road to assess them this morning. We don't have any chest tube output. PA pressure has been high, index is low. Um, we're on at these, not, we're not helping his pressure that much. Um, I'm concerned with tamponade. Yeah, I agree. We've got a constellation of symptoms of tamponade. Um, we need to reach out to a cardiac surgeon and let them know. Okay. Do you want any other nurses with me here with you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what would you like them to do? Um, Andy, can you go ahead and get sterile? It sounds like we're going to open the chest. Okay. Um, part, part. Yes, thank you, Leah. Okay. Okay. All right. So then I'm picking up the phone and talking with the surgeon. Yep. Hey, good morning. Hey, I'm wake up. <laughs> um, your patient uh, hmm. with the cabbage has uh, signs okay. of. So wipe everything off of there. That's going to be your sterile table. Okay. Uh, and go ahead and take the gown off. Oh, okay. Uh, is, take the dressing off the gown as well. So take, 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 the, take the gown off, take the dressing off as well. You're going to prepare the patient as well. Okay. Thank you. 
Your map is 45. Map is 45. Is that fluid up and running? Yeah, fluid. Then I'm going to go up and run a little bit. Go up on the FE2. Get that means there's a trauma surgeon here. Not there, over here. Can we call the OR and tell them we're going to have an open chest so we need to be ready for, we have to go downstairs? Yeah, I can do that. Right. What we need to do is grab that, bring, up, bring the whole table over. Okay. OR is where? Right. Right. I have one of you on one side of the bed, one on the other side of the bed. Alright, so we're going to start opening the tray, the instruments. Shelby, you can take that Sorry. suction and plug it into the suction canister. All right, yes, go ahead. So there should be an incision there, and you can see you should go right down to the incision. Real? Okay. No, 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 that's the other one. Yeah, the other one. Right down to the incision. It's not a cement, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's not a cement. Grab your needle driver, those are heavy. Needle drivers there, and one of you do that, one of you have the double action uh, wire cutter. So what you'll do, these are all going to be twisted down. You're going to pull it up, you're going to lift up on it, and then mm -hmm. they'll cut it. There'll be eight, or eight to ten of those that'll be in there depending on uh, the length of the strut. Okay. Okay. okay, so you have all your wires out, right? Where are those wires at? You have a little bucket or something like that, you can put them in, that way they're not just, I mean, you can throw them before you step on them if you want, but it's nice to have them yeah. right. so back in the tray or something like that, right? So the next step's what? We're spread the chest. Yeah, spread the chest open, yeah. right? So, go ahead. Slide that in, it's very easy. You can't, you can't mess it up, right? I'm pretty sure I can. <laughs> <laughs> so lay it flat, yep, and then you just Rotate that. That's all you have to do. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Good. So now you do that, what happens if it's truly tamponade? It should improve. It should improve, right? What comes flying out at you? A bunch of blood and clot and all that stuff, right? So it's another thing to have a little bucket up. You can scoop that the blood and clot, get your suction. 
I would avoid sticking your hand down in there because you don't want to rip one of the graphs off or something like that, right? But at least get your suckers in to scoop off any thrombus or clots that's sitting right there on the top, and you should get better. So you can then ask, we ask, what's our mean, what's our math, what's our pressure, what's our heart rate, what are we doing? Do you really, does your FE still need to be at 0.2? Does your levo need to be at 0.15? start coming down on your drips, coming down on your medicines. Yeah. But the big things are our, our suction, right? Get two suctions off, and uh, it's easy to get back in the chest. Nobody's gonna ask you to repair the proximal or, or do anything, right? and you really and really should avoid really sticking your hand in there and doing internal compressions unless you have done that before and you're fast on with it, right? Because you can stick your thumb through the RV Good. So what do you guys think went well and, and what do you think we could improve on? So let's let's give ourselves kudos first. What went well? Well we recognized the classic. Yeah, you yeah. recognized it very quickly, right? Recognized what was going on and, and made the appropriate phone calls and the, and, and the appropriate uh, people. Okay. What can we improve? Role designation was great. <laughs> it's been very well, right? I mean, you guys did a, did, a, did a good job. I think the management of identifying, but then initial early management, right? Start fluids, go up on pressors, you know, those kinds of things. Try to maintain perfusion. You don't, you don't just, once you diagnose, you, there are some initial medical management that you can do, right? So, did we call blood bank and did we get a cooler in the room? No, we didn't really need to do that, right? So, we'll Get, get blood bank management, initial medical management of tamponade is fluids, 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 